Hello guys, welcome to my channel Star Fox Please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more videos to come. Before long, it brought him to a new undertaking. Personally, sculpting is gratis and unique. Like a garment who indulges endlessly upon the finest food and various delicacies of the world. In the end, the man himself stands in the kitchen to create from scratch his own perfect dish. The day in it, the strongest in the world, its extreme efficacy was generated by his son, Maki, but unable to wait for what seemed to be imperfect creation to mature. He chewed up his own son and spat out the remains. That which he had created was now destroyed, completing the circle. And so it was to be believed. My child, what is more, stands to oppose me. His main purpose has been remarkable. With his youthful stubbornness, it wasn't long before. All those rivals that he had looked up to looked up to him. Across the ocean, across the boundaries of species, further yet, across time itself, he stood unwavering against them all. His strength rivals the heroes of legends. I can see right through you, Bucky. Quickly now, bring it out. Figures, come on. It's impossible to keep a secret from him. Everything that has led to this point, my progression, maturity, evolution, all of it, every last bit, we can see through it. I hear you, Dad. Relax. Relax. My muscles, my joints, every organ, every cell in my body, then I can be lean to materialize the imaginary great speed that my NSAFE master alone could reach. Maximum velocity as the initial velocity. Tremendous. I could hug you. Concentrate. Melt, melt. Flow faster than water, faster than air, take it out to the absolute limit. Now, exhaustion beyond the maximum point. The firmness of his muscle fibers is slow somewhere in his subconscious, melting away quickly. Now, in the young man's consciousness, his bones and muscle fibers have completely disappeared, leaving only a pool of liquid. But the liquid is not there anymore, it has already been vaporized. Exhaustion beyond belief. Now, cockroaches are the only creature on earth that can achieve this maximum speed right from the get go. How do you like me now, father? I work on this so hard just for you. Dashing at you at 168 mm per hour in 0.01 millisecond, the cockroach stuck out. Oh, oh, I can see what's going on. Me, neither. Nope. Ouch. They broke the walls. Hehe. <laughs> A first attack to open this battle. Cold, I can walk on broken glass without getting cut. Where did you learn that one, little Houdini? With a dollar to a guy on the street to learn it?
stop boy no seriously where did you learn this making your muscle fibers turn into liquid and without a minute's rest Turn that liquid into vapors, swinging the stream back into solid matter with extreme tension, without losing flexibility or power in the process. The overwhelming strength that you achieved with this goes beyond what I have been anticipating. Countless talented men in the past have tried to master the extreme relaxation, some more successfully than others, but none of them have surpassed the initial level of complete exhaustion, much less the state of absolute liquefaction that I have seen for the first time in my life, this technique. I like to know who was the one taught it to you. Where did you find him? Bucky. He trained you where? In our everyday lives, there's a word that describes unique events and fantastical stories that may have, may have been true. An urban legend, such as vast Tokugawa gold treasure hidden behind the Mount Akagi, Chikunachi and Chupacabras, the bunny man, mirage spirits and other ghosts, the luchness monster. Who spread these stories on the internet, read them in Perl, books and then tell their friends about it. Almost any genre, activity or topic has an incredible wit that is hard to tell it from but from the truth. With the recent boom in popularity and multiple fighting, have you heard about the strongest men in the world that are also father and son? Let me tell you, that movie that you saw is based on something real but is super secret. Somewhere in Japan, there's an underground fighting arena that's controlled by the government. Masters and fighters from all over the world gather in this place to decide who's the best and the best at the fighting world. There are no weight classes, no limits, no rounds either. It costs nothing to enter and there are cash or prizes to earn. Come, fight and win. The only anticipated role of this fighting arena, only use your body as your weapon. Yes, man, you can even kick them in the boss, poke them in the eyes, and grow stuff like biting their fingers or other parts of their bodies. Of course, fighting without rules kills some guys, but it's nobody's fault. But guess what? The most incredible thing is that the best badass champion in this arena has never lost a fight there. Just a 17 years old dude that just short and skinny, he looks like he wouldn't even kill a fly. But even fighting is dream and someday we'll get the final battle I always wanted. There is only one man that is dude afraid of. Imagine what kind of man is that. He's on that. He's huge and super strong. He even has a tattoo of the devil smiling in his back. They call him the ogre. He's so scary. The United States give him the money and respects he wants. This tribe no countries can even. As much as the rumors spread like this, they all end in the same program. These two guys are about to fight very soon. It's going to be the best battle ever. The thing that we have also from men, any given day, they wake up and they look at themselves. Damn, I'm getting big. My arms are pretty powerful. Yeah, for sure. I just do like this. Hell yeah. I just imagine a strong guy in front of me inside this empty space. In one punch, yeah. Wow, I'm good at this. I'm good at this. I can do this. Just with my natural talent, I stand a chance in battle. So one day, I met the guy he was looking for. 
he faces the reality of the situation, the real sheer power and brute force from men of the streets, men of the dojo, men of the gym. A cold reality check on how strong you really are. In this case, he was an exception to the rule of common men. He was aware of the truth for as long as he can remember. What kind of truth? Yes, he knew for a fact he was the strongest of the world without equal. Just like the lion, he doesn't need anybody to inform him that he's the predator. The man was aware of his amazing fighting condition. Especially when the first lion decided to run away from him the day they crossed paths. Experienced martial artists Then defeating different species Rendering weapons useless Crushing soldiers Overcoming the police officers In the end, with all these speeds, the army freed him Men that control the strongest political factions of the world give him the authority to listen and fulfill his wishes. The man would achieve all this speech just by the sheer force of his arms. Information that should be classified and appropriate nature suddenly found its way into the hands of the young trans world. Very beginning, strongest man alive? Now, winning a fight against five guys doesn't mean anything. Getting the fighting champion belt doesn't mean anything either. Now it means that you just walk to a site of a power and overtake the government just with a pure physical strength, right? This is ridiculous. Somebody needs to draw a light to all this craziness. See, if there was a Nobel Prize category for physical strength, the organizers wouldn't have to look any further. By anonymous decision, the recipient of this reward will go to his hands. But even this man... Yeah... He's not prepared for a massive fame and glory. What? What the hell is going on around here? Thank you for watching. Goodbye!